pretty much snapped my spinal cord in half. They put two rods, 14 screws, and uh, been paralyzed from the waist down ever since. Um, so I was in an ATV accident on um, October 21st, 2020, and uh, pretty much snapped my spinal cord in half. They put two rods, 14 screws, and uh, been paralyzed from the waist down ever since. Oh, Gave me a 5% chance of ever walking. Um, I just recently stopped taking all medications um, about two months ago, and I feel completely different, like a better person, been eating healthy and exercising. So. Good. Yeah, man. So life goes on. You know, you can't you can't dwell on the past. You just got to keep moving forward. I got a beautiful daughter to take care of. So uh huh. That's my motivation every single day to keep going. I just got like tightness all over. Okay. Um, it's not necessarily pain, but I was in a um, auto accident like two months ago and okay. been having problems with my shoulder ever since. And then, so literally with the accident, they put they got the rods where? Um, it's at. Uh, T6 to L1 spinal fusion. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so they had to do that, fuse that all the way down. How long were you um, like hospitalized? Um, I was uh, in the hospital in ICU for two weeks. Then they moved me to floor 615. And I was in there for another two weeks. Then they transferred me to Charlotte, where I stayed at Carolina Rehabilitation Center. I stayed there for almost a month. Okay. And then got out a day before Thanksgiving. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So have they tried any type of? They um they pretty much just said five percent chance of ever walking. Um, but you know your body's very powerful. Yep. Um, you know what you eat and and how you exercise has a lot of play in if you're ever gonna walk again. Yep. But at the same time, you gotta be realistic and you gotta understand that if it does happen, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So. Yep. You know, but. Dang. Yep. You're yep, right about that. How often are um, headaches? Um, not so. They're not so bad, but um, when they when they do get bad, it's a migraine. Okay. Um, it's like once a month, maybe. Gotcha, gotcha. Once a month, and then granted, I can only imagine sitting in that oh, all yeah. day long. I hate sitting in it, man. <laughs> oh man. Okay. So obviously things are going to be a little bit different. Mm -hmm. We're not going to do some adjustments between that okay. that T6 to L1, but we're well, going to get a ton of movement though for you. All right. All right. Well, let's get you okay. face down on the table. All right. That's just like a, a kind of like one of them involuntary reactions. Mm -hmm. With I think it's a lot to do with you know tightness and. Um, like my body's trying to send signals down to my legs mm -hmm. and when it shoots back up it kind of gets blocked so it causes a conjunction. Okay. Not bad. Left leg is shorter. And then, yeah, you can feel all through here. Mind if I raise the shirt up? Yeah, you're good. All right, cool. Yeah, I wanted to see this. Nice little battle scar you got here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they came in right in through here. And got that nicely fused all the way up. Man, I can't believe that's crazy, that accident. How one thing can change an entire life. Oh, yeah. Let me know if there's any 
pain or tenderness. Any pain with any of that? No. Now, question. Any feeling down here? Um, every once in a while, like, I have some sensation, like, I've gained a lot of sensation back from, you know, just over the time of healing. Mm -hmm. Um, but, like, it's very light sensation down right to r roughly where my, my knees are, but, you know, I still can't move them. There's no, it comes and goes type feeling. Okay. Any, like, when I'm like this, um... Right now I'm squeezing the calf, like any... I feel it like in my hips. Do you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now if I'm in the thigh... Okay. Yeah. See? Okay. So that triggered that involuntary response with that. Okay. Now up top, obviously, so cervical spine is going down, giving all the nerve functions down into the arms, and then you got thoracic spine that's hitting more of the uh, internal organs, where... Like, do you still have sensation through the back? Mm hmm Okay. Where does it stop, or do you feel... Um, I feel everything on my back, pretty much. Okay. Like, when you get towards, like, my waist area, it's where I don't feel very much at all. I mean, I know you're there because it's like, you know, I can yeah. feel where you're moving or whatever, but... Yep. Um, it still sends signals, like, above where I can really feel. Gotcha. Okay. All right, I'm going to start with the massage gun. I just want to relax everything for you. Okay. How does this feel for you? Good, good. Okay.
I want to go real light. Just want to get some pressure in here. Not as much of a thrust, but... SI joint as well. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna go so the bottom of here, here's your L1 right at the bottom of that scar here. So we're gonna go below it, we're gonna get these lumbar vertebra some alignment. Get her get it back aligned, I mean. get some drops on the sacrum here we're gonna go both both sides I want to do a little torquing left and right okay. just to keep that sacrum to get any kind of movement because I know you're just sitting mm -hmm. all day long so and that's why even with the massage gun I was going down on the legs I wanted to do that you know I feel like a lot of times you're that blood flow getting down to there so any kind of sensation down there would be nice Spine here, like just to the left, is all knotted up. Okay. okay. And then let me get you to flip onto your back. No help. So is this foot always pointed down like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ever since my accident. Ever since that accident? Oh. There it was.
of a bunch of hands. That's right there. Good. Let's get some decompression done. You can only imagine how jammed up everything is for you. Sensation going down to my whole body. Good. It was weird. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Trust me. I know everybody who's gonna watch this and they're gonna be like, "Oh my gosh, <laughs> why is Trap with that?" But no, with with that one, the fusion itself, that thing, it it's, it's strong. Yeah, it's strong. That's for sure. And I'm not even pulling hard with you on on that one, but. What I want to do, we're going to take this out from under you. I'm going to do a little sock tissue work up along the traps up here. Sides there. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna get you to scoot down just a little bit again. Perfect. With me. First, get these guys out there. Nice little massage. Going through the legs. Did you feel with that one? I felt more as it like it went further down. Did it? Mm-hmm. Good. 
Not bad though, right? Mm -mm. Not at all. Okay. Felt great. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you were adjusted? Um, I went to some place in Colombia. Did you? But it wasn't it wasn't what I thought it was gonna be, so I never went back. Gotcha. What'd they do? Um, they just like cracked my neck and did a little bit on my um, hips or whatever, but that was about it. It was like a it was almost like they had a treatment plan for you almost, but it wasn't you know, it wasn't designed for me, I guess. Yeah. So No, I hear ya. Go actually go down just a little bit more. So when I get your shoulders adjusted, I can only imagine how much, you know, you're, you're using your oh, upper yeah. body now, so. That other side. that last one feel about the same as the last time okay. like with more sensation okay
How are you feeling? I feel loose. I feel really good. I'm not so stiff. Not not like I was before I came in. <laughs> a lot looser. Good, good. Feels good. Yeah, I know. See, I was kind of excited to get that Y strap on you. Oh, yeah. Because I know, especially with, with sitting all day. Oh, yeah. And it sucks, man. Sitting all day, like, it puts a strain on your spine. And, and you know, when you're standing up, your body has, you know, ways for it to stretch so sitting down you're always being compressed and yep. puts a big strain on your body um you know maybe one day with blood flow and and exercise and you know getting adjusted it'll help you know bring sensation back and, and possibly walk oh um, i know it's just your body you got to heal it and you got to you know take the precautions to take care of the body that way it can you know, use all the resources we have inside of our system to to heal it properly. Oh yeah. Because when your spinal cord gets compressed or or something, you know, hits your spinal cord, it swells up like a balloon, and it takes years for it to finally compress back down and and uh, stop swelling. So yeah. it's gonna take some time. It's only been a little over almost two years. Almost, so okay. You know, but where I was at before to where I'm at today is a total different <laughs> situation. So. Dang. Yeah, man. Oh, I could imagine. Oh, yeah. But it, honestly, I mean, I know that that you were said that it was only five percent mm -hmm. chance. I mean, as you can tell, there's, you know, with, with some of those involuntary reactions, you can tell that there is some kind of signal. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's what that's what I'm thinking, man. Like, uh, you know, being being optimistic and being positive about it, and you know. Like I said, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, you know, at least I gave it every possible shot that I could give, you know. Yeah. Um, I quit eating meat about probably a month ago. Okay. Just been eating, like, raw vegetables, fruits, plants. Yeah. Um, getting all the resources that my body needs um, and staying away from red meats and stuff like that because of inflammation, which, you know, slows the process of healing. Yeah. Um, so just eating right, exercising, and... And uh, I should be getting leg braces here soon. Oh, really? Um, you know, I won't be able to move my legs physically, but the walker that they yet you use, you pretty much pick your legs up and kind of like shift forward with the walker. So gotcha. I'll be getting that soon. I just got to figure everything out with insurance with that. Um, but, you know, it's still, even if I don't walk, there's still that possibility of me yeah. being in leg braces. So. Technically, it's a win for me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, but, I mean, because you are a solid upper body. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, using your upper body a lot, it puts a lot of strain on you, but you get the muscles from it, so that's a, <laughs> that's a positive thing about it. You are right so, about that. But, yeah, man, I'm just going to keep working at it and giving it every shot I possibly can and see where we go from, from here. Definitely. Keep me updated. Let me know how okay, yeah. things are feeling and whatnot. And, uh, uh, yeah, I'll definitely get you back in here. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Get everything realigned, and yeah, hopefully I'd love to, love to have any kind of, if I could contribute anything to help oh, yeah, you man. get up and moving and whatnot. Oh, yeah. Granted, I know it wasn't, I know people would be watching me like, oh, did he pull a wire strap and start walking? <laughs> like, yeah, I wish. It usually don't happen like that, nah. but, you know, people, when they see stuff like that, they, they get really optimistic, and but at the same time, you're still doing some good for your body, you know? Yeah. You know, your body needs that. Your body has to have this to, to help it heal and grow because, you know, you're just packing compression on packing on compression. It just causes more problems. So, yeah, let's get it all out the way and, and see where we go from here now. Definitely. Yeah, because I have another patient. Um, he's a quadriplegic. Really? And, um, gosh, I've seen him quite a few times now. And he actually started getting... Feeling and sensation. Granted, he wasn't like lifting okay, yeah. or anything, but he was getting sensation. He didn't have that before, and so he's actually looking to go to there's some institute in Chicago to help. Oh yeah, the MUSC thing. They do, they do like um, research programs with um, spinal cord patients. Um, you know, it, we're almost like lab rats to them because they do trial and error type situations. But they've already came up with a. Uh, a solution to reverse paralysis. Um, they tried it on rats, mm -hmm. um, but it hasn't been FDA approved yet. So, you know, but um, there's other countries out there that have people 
with a spinal cord injury where they put an epidural stimulation in their back and they're walking now. So really? it's just a matter of time, 20, 30 years. I mean, there's not a lot of research into it like cancer or something like that because, yeah. you know, they just figured, oh, well, you're, you're pretty much dead now, you know. They don't, they don't care. Um, this is when you get into an accident, they just want to load you up with medicine. They want to tell you to do this when reality, you know, you get medicine from plants. Um, yeah. You know, that's how we used to heal our bodies back in the early days. And, Correct. You know, I, I was getting more harm from taking medicine than I was not taking it. And ever since I stopped, my mood's been different, my energy, my my pain. Like, I have zero pain at all. <laughs> like, you know, I talk to a lot of people with spinal cord injury, and they're like, you have, you don't take no medicine? I'm like, no, man, I don't, I don't need it. <laughs> if your body doesn't need it, don't take it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you're just getting your mind used to it, and it's just like brain gaming. Yeah. That's what um, doctors want you to believe. They want you to take this medication because it makes money, you know what I mean? So, yeah. But it is what it is, man. So um, I, I met a guy in Myrtle Beach, um, and he was paralyzed from the neck down. And um, I got to talking with him, um, and he pretty much, they told him he was never going to be able to walk. Like, he had no sensation from the neck down. And to this day, he's a freaking monster, dude. Like, he's he looks like a Hulk. And he walks. He He's a physical trainer now. Like, um, I'm actually going to see him. Um, in September as well gotcha. um, for the second time and he was the, he's the one that told me to like stop taking medicine he's the one that told me to you know start exercising more yeah um, getting blood flow is the key um, because your body needs that to help swelling and, and stuff like that and you know the more blood flow you get the better your body functions and stuff like that yeah. um, so just just hearing what he has done you know I'm not gonna take every situation that he did Cause like he takes it overboard, like he he's extreme fitness type guy now yeah. because he changed his whole life. So I just I take the key components of what he did and kind of incorporate them into my life, which is like not eating meats or anything like that. Yeah. Um, and you know just exercising and getting blood flow. I use uh, electro stimulations like um, e uh, tens unit EMS. Yeah. I've been doing that here regularly too. So. Anything to stimulate your body is going to help, you know, if possible. You do that on, like, muscles? Yeah, and... mostly my legs, like, upper top right here. Um, and they're always triggering, you know. Yep. You see them contract and stuff like that, which helps your um, so the muscles. Not, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, man, I'm just going to keep, keep doing research. Like, I've done a lot of research since my accident of what could happen and what could I do to help it. Um, you know, I'm not going to change if I'll ever walk, but, you know, at least I gave it everything I could yeah. give, you know, so oh, heck yeah. that's where I'm at today, man. I'm not going to give up. Doctors told me I wasn't going to walk, and I'm going to yep. prove them wrong one way or another, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's where I'm at with all this. <laughs> you know, you kind of, you learn to live um, your life. At, at the beginning, it's like the roughest time ever, especially me for my situation. Um, my girlfriend, she was pregnant with my daughter, so... Uh, I thought I was gonna die. Like I was airlifted to the hospital. Like I kept asking them, "Am I gonna die? Am I gonna die?" They're like, "We don't know. We're just gonna do the best we can." So, having that situation and then being stuck in a hospital for almost two months and then getting out and your wife giving birth, it was a lot at one time. And then you lose your job and there's so many uh, components that go into just spinal cord injury. It's not just the accident. It's yep. how your whole life changes. You have to get dressed differently, put your shoes on differently, take showers differently, how you use the bathroom, it's completely different, man, and it sucks. But you can't look at it that way. You gotta look at the positive side versus the negatives. Yeah. And nine times out of ten you're positive while well, well, you're negative if you, you look at it correctly. So Yeah. Yeah man, so Dang. But we're just gonna keep trying, see where we go. You know, life uh I'm I'm young so yeah. I'll, I got a long life to live, so I got to take care of my body. <laughs> uh -huh. And you got a little one, yep, too. Yep. I actually have two. Oh, girls, you have two? So, yeah, so. Gosh. Yeah, man, so they keep me going. I got <laughs> to stay healthy for them. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. Keep I me updated. I will. Yeah, let me know if things are.